Welcome to Getting Started with Banner 9. In this lesson, you learn how to navigate the Banner 9 user interface, including using the landing page features, accessing and navigating pages, and viewing keyboard shortcuts. To access Banner 9, you must log in using a unique username and password. After entering your credentials, click Sign In to display the landing page. The landing page facilitates seamless navigation between Banner 8.x forms and Banner 9.x pages, as well as Banner 8.x and Banner 9.x self-service applications, allowing them to act like a single application. Note that what is called a form in Banner 8 is called a page in Banner 9. Let's take a closer look at the landing page, starting with the main menu panel. The main menu panel is sticky. That means it is always present and available to you regardless of where you are in the system. With an easy click or keystroke, you can open the menu to perform any desired action. First in line is the menu icon, which looks like a group of three horizontal lines. Note the thin blue line under the icon. This line is a visual reminder indicating where you are in the menu. Clicking on the menu icon displays the names of all the icons in the main menu panel. The menu icon acts like a toggle switch, so to close the menu, simply click the icon again. The next icon is the dashboard icon. Click on it to return to the landing page from anywhere in the system. The applications icon looks like nine small boxes arranged in a 3x3 grid. By clicking the icon, the banner, my banner, and banner self-service menus display, in addition to menus for any other integrated applications. You'll see how to locate pages and forms using the menus a bit later in this lesson. To return to the expanded menu panel, click back to main menu. The search icon can be used to find pages or forms. The search is performed on the menu data. Therefore, if the form or page is not included on the menu, it is not included in the search results. You'll see how to access forms and pages via the search icon a little bit later in this lesson. Again, Click back to main menu to return to the expanded menu panel. Note the placement of the blue line indicating your last action on the menu panel. The recently opened icon displays a list of the recently opened pages and forms. No pages or forms have been opened yet, so the icon is grayed out. The help icon displays online help for Banner 9 administrative applications. Online help is also available for Banner 8.x self-service. You must be on a page to access online help. We'll take a look at online help shortly when we demonstrate how to access a page in Banner 9. The sign out icon, indicated by a lock, is used to exit the system. The last icon in the menu panel is the profile icon, which displays the name of the user currently logged into the system. Click the menu icon to collapse the menu panel. At the bottom of the screen is the keyboard shortcuts button. You can use these keyboard shortcuts to navigate the landing page. During this walkthrough, the keyboard shortcuts will be called out when appropriate. Be sure to check out the keyboard shortcuts link on the Banner 9 Guide website for a complete list of keyboard shortcuts, including a comparison between Banner 8 and Banner 9 keystrokes. Click X to close the keyboard shortcuts window. Next, let's learn how to access pages or forms from the landing page. You have three options. You can use the Applications icon or the Search icon located on the main menu, or you can use the Search field. We'll take a look at each option, starting with the Applications icon. Click the Applications icon or press Ctrl plus M on your keyboard to view the Banner, My Banner, and Banner Self-Service menus. The menu panel displays the applications that your institution uses. Therefore, your menu panel may look a little different than the one shown here. In this example, we'll access the General Person Identification page, SPADEN, which is in the Banner Student System. Click the right arrow to expand the menu tree and locate a specific application. Use the scroll bar as needed to view all the menus. Continue using the right arrow to expand the menu tree and reach the submodule and page levels. SPADEN is located in the General Person submodule. Click the right arrow associated with General Person to view the available pages. At any time, you can click the left arrow to go back to the previous level, or you can click the Back to Applications link to view all Banner, My Banner, and Self-Service menus. To open the page, simply click on the page name. 
Note that the menu panel persists on all screens throughout the system. To close the page, click the Page Close icon. To return to the landing page, click the Dashboard icon or use the keystroke Control plus Shift plus X. Note that the recently opened icon is now active and a number displays on the Open File folder. Each time a new page or form opens, the number increases by 1. Use the keyboard shortcut Control plus Y to display the list of all forms and pages open during the session, or click the recently opened icon. You can reopen the page from here by clicking on the page name. For purposes of this demonstration, let's go back to the main menu and continue looking at how to access pages. A second way to access pages or forms is to click the search icon, represented by a magnifying glass. Pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus Y on your keyboard also opens the search panel. No longer do you need to know the exact page name or all seven letters of the object identifier. You can suggest topics such as student or employee or identification to return a list of all pages containing those letters. After entering three characters, pages match in your entry display. Keep typing to narrow your search results. You can use the scroll bar as needed to see the entire list of pages returned. Keep typing to refine your search results. To open the page, click on the page name. In this case, we're going to click the Back to Main Menu link to learn about the third way to access pages from the landing page. Close the expanded Main Menu panel by clicking the Menu icon. The search field on the landing page can be used to search for forms, pages, jobs, menus, and quick flows by simply typing keywords or the seven character identifier into the search field. This field works much the same way as the search icon in that after typing three characters, pages matching your entry start to display. Use the scroll bar as needed to view the entire list of results, then click on the page name to open it. While the look of the page is different, the page layout, many of the icons and buttons, and overall functionality remain the same. During this quick tour, we'll point out some differences between Banner 8 and Banner 9. For starters, with Banner 9, only the key block displays initially. The fields, the icons, etc. within the key block are the same. As with Banner 8, you can click the Look Up button to quickly look up and select a value versus typing data into the field. After entering the required information in the key block, click Go versus Next block in Banner 8 to activate the page. Note that the key block collapses but the information is still viewable. You can click Start Over versus Rollback in Banner 8 to return to the key block and re-enter data. Many Banner 9 pages now have tabs which help to organize data. Unless grayed out, tabs are active. In place of blocks, there are now sections as denoted by the gray bars. You move between sections or between tabs by clicking the Previous Section or Next Section icons located at the bottom of the page. Previous and Next Section icons replace Previous Block and Next Block icons. New to Banner 9, you can collapse or expand sections using the directional arrows located in the section headers. This allows you to focus on the information that is pertinent at the moment and hide unneeded information. Once closed, simply click the arrow to open the section again. You can move between tabs by clicking on them as well. Use the horizontal and vertical scroll bars to move side to side or up and down on a page, just as in Banner 8. You can perform specific functions such as insert, delete, copy, and filter within each section. Your cursor must be in that section to activate these functions, otherwise they will be grayed out as shown here. Some functionality that you are familiar with in Banner 8 has moved to the page header so that it is more easily accessible. For example, the Add and Retrieve icons used with Banner Document Management are now located in the page header. If your institution uses Banner Workflow, the Release and Submit icons would display here also. The Related icon provides easy access to pages associated with the data on the current page. Click on the icon to open the menu. You can select a page from the list provided or use the search field to locate a specific page. Simply click the icon again to close the menu. 
The Tools menu, formerly known as the Options menu in Banner 8, gives you access to standard actions, options, and Banner document management functions based on the page you have accessed. Throughout this demonstration, you have viewed Banner pages in the new compact screen page layout. If you choose, you can set the page layout to Expanded by selecting it from the Tools menu. Simply click on Expanded. In the Expanded setting, the page takes up more real estate, filling the screen. The page layout setting you choose will persist throughout the system. To switch it back, access the Tools menu and select Compact. The Notification Center, formerly known as the Auto Hint Line, is conveniently located in the page header. The Notification Center displays only when there are one or more alerts, as indicated by the number. Toggling on the number shows or hides the message. There are three alert levels. Green, as shown here, indicates the action executed successfully. Typically, green messages are informational only. Yellow messages indicate a warning, and red is an error message. Click on the Notification Center number to close or hide the notification. Online help is available for all pages. On any given page, click the Help icon, the question mark in the menu panel, to display detailed descriptions and in many cases step-by-step -step instructions. You can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus L to open online help as well. Information specific to the page displays in a separate window making it easier to toggle between the page you are working on and the help information. Note the printer icon at the top of the page, which lets you print page-specific information. In the left column, a list of all pages in the banner module displays. Click on a page to view its help information, or use the search link to locate a specific page. You will need to close the browser window to exit help. Click the Page Close icon to close the page or form. Click the dashboard icon in the menu panel to return to the landing page from any screen. This concludes the tour of the Banner 9 user interface, including using the landing page features, accessing and navigating pages, and viewing keyboard shortcuts. When finished with your session, be sure to sign out instead of just closing your browser window to ensure that you completely log out of the Banner application. We're here to help you every step of the way. If you are in the early stages of the upgrade process, check out the Banner 8 to Banner 9 upgrade courses. These online training courses are designed to help your IT team successfully upgrade to Banner 9. You'll find a link to these online offerings on the Banner 9 Guide website at www.elucian.com forward slash Banner 9 Guide. The Banner 9 Guide is your primary resource for all Banner 9 upgrade content. On the Banner 9 Guide site, you'll find functional and technical resources, as well as a Banner 9 Leader Toolkit, which includes customizable email templates, FAQs, and a high-level timeline, all designed to help you help your administrative end users understand the change and make a smooth transition to Banner 9. For more online training lessons like the one you just experienced, the on-demand subscription library has hundreds of micro-learning lessons for each Banner 9 module. Designed specifically for administrative staff members, those online training sessions support individuals in getting up and running on Banner 9 quickly and efficiently. To get started, take advantage of our Banner 9 learning paths, which help to identify the courses available and who should take them. Contact your institution's system administrator for more information on any of these resources. Thank you, and welcome to Banner 9.